In this lesson, we're going to be learning Cold, Cold, Cold by Cage the Elephant. Uh, pretty cool tune. Uh, it's got guitar in it, pop tune, well, pop rock tune with uh, some guitar in it, which is cool. It's kind of rare uh, these days. Uh, um, it's got a cool recognizable line. It sounds like this. <laughs> So that's kind of the intro and the verses. <clears throat> and then the choruses are just some bar chords uh, mainly. And then there is a solo. It's not terribly difficult. A um, couple other little parts. So it's based out of G minor. We're going to need an F, a G minor bar chord. Just like that. Root on the E string here. Need an F major, major bar chord. Need a B flat major bar chord root on the A string. A D major, F major, and a regular D major chord. Those are about all the chords <clears throat> we need uh, for the most part. So um, let's take a look at the intro. So we have this. That's the main theme of the song. So it's a, if you played a G minor chord, you're playing two notes out of it. The fifth fret D string and the third fret G string. So you're going D, G, and back up to D. Then you're going to go and play an F major third. So you got your F and your major third interval here on the second fret of the G string. So we go. It's the same thing there, same pick pattern. Then you come back to the G minor uh, third, pick D string, G string, then we go to a D, basically a, <clears throat> a D5 chord, and you're going to pick uh, open D, and then the second fret G string, back to open D, back to second fret. So the rhythm is... Like that, and then that riff just repeats. So you play that three times, and the fourth time of the intro, it goes up here. So basically part of a D major chord. So you're barring the seventh fret on the G and B strings. You're just going to bar those. You're going to start with the B string. You're going to pick the B string and G string. Just playing eighth notes. One and two and three and four and then just put your pinky down on the tenth fret of the B string. Same pick pattern. And that leads us into the verse. So the whole intro and that leads us to the verse. Okay, so after the verse, we have a pre-chorus. It comes right out of the verse. Sounds like that. So we got four bar chords. G minor bar chord to F, B flat to a D. And the it's all eighth notes, uh, but the G minor is pushed, so it comes just a little ahead of the downbeat. Um. So you kind of just a, it's an eighth it's an eighth note in front of the downbeat. So we have uh, just just down up down up strumming, um, and it's it's a half a bar each chord. So you got G minor, F, B flat, D. And that 
that's how it ends. So we have two hits on the B flat, and then you hold out the D for a whole note. And then we go in the chorus, which is the same chord progression. It's just that the, uh, the G minor is, um, well, it's still pushed, I think, so. right back to the verse. So you play it five times in the chorus. So really the pre-chorus and the chorus are basically the same thing. Um, so you got the verse, you got the pre-chorus, the chorus now. Um, on the second chorus there's a tag going into the bridge where they they do a bar of G minor and then a bar of D. That's all that is right before the bridge. So it's just G minor for a bar. D for a bar. You could play the D here too if you want. And then we have this bridge where it's, just, it's really simple. They're holding out chords, whole notes. So it's just B flat, two, three, four, D, two, three, four, G minor, F, then B flat, D, G minor, and then we go F high, and then B flat, and then D for a two bar like build up. So it's, one more time, it's B flat, D, G minor, F, B flat, D, G minor, F up high, and then D. So when I go to that F up high, it's just eighth fret. It's the same chord shape as the B flat. It's just on the eighth fret. Then we go to the D. And that, that leads us to the solo section. And the solo <clears throat> is over the chorus um, material. And we'll get to that in a second. Um, that's all the parts. That's pretty much the whole tune. Now there is one line that I want to show you that comes uh, at the end of that pre-chorus. This little line that you hear in there. So at the end of the pre-chorus, where we go? So we got the pre-chorus. Right there on that D, there's another guitar that right on the downbeat goes like that. And it, so it's it's out of bass out of D. So it's 10th fret, then 13th fret B string. It's basically right almost right down a minor scale. Then uh, 11, 10. 12 on the G string to 14. One more time. And that leads us to the chorus. And then there's also an alternate um, way you could play the chorus. It, there's another guitar going... Uh, It's doing all this arpeggiated high chord, same chords, G minor. And he does the same thing in the chorus and the pre-chorus. So let's take a look at that. It's, it's, if you played a G minor chord, you know, in the chorus we're playing our G minor bar chord here, but if you played it with the root on the A string, it looks like this. Now, he's arpeggiating from this chord, but you don't need to hold the whole chord. You just need 10th fret, 11th fret, 12th fret, and he's just picking 
G, B, E, back to B. Then he's gonna go to an F major chord. So it's eight, 10, 10. Same pick pattern. Then we go to a B flat. This B flat comes from a B flat major bar chord like this. You just don't need all of it. So you just have to bar the sixth fret high E and B string and seventh fret G string. Same pick pattern. And then you slide that same shape up to the 11th fret and 10th fret and you have the same shape in the form of a D major chord. It comes from this bar chord. And the pick pattern changes there a little bit. So it's G string, then E, then B. So it's <clears throat> and then it does the same thing in the chorus. And, and that's, that's a cool part to practice because it's arpeggiated and uh, it sounds pretty cool, especially if you have another person to play with that could be playing the chords uh, up here underneath. Okay, um, so next let's take a look at the solo. Okay, so now let's take a look at the solo. Solo is really cool sound and it's not terribly difficult. There are a lot of unison bends um, in it that make it somewhat difficult, but there's not a lot to remember. Um, and the, the uh, solo is super overdriven. So I've turned uh, the gain on my amp almost all the way up and um, I'm using the neck pickup to give it a little, it's real full sounding. Um, so I'm using the neck pickup on the guitar, not the bridge, so it's a little thicker sounding. Got the gain all the way up on my amp. Now, if you do that and you don't want it to be so loud, you turn your master down a little bit. And um, that'll give you a close to a sound. If you have some fuzz boxes or some overdrive pedals, this would be the time uh, to use it if you want to try to get this tone. So um, it starts with a bend on the fifth fret of the G string. So uh, we have the bend, he holds it. Then he does a little bend release pull off to three, and then another bend that he holds for a while. So it sounds like this. If you can do the vibrato, that would sound good. Okay, that's the first part. Then, in, and this is based out of G pentatonic minor, because the chord progression underneath, you know, is... You know, it starts on that G minor chord. <clears throat> so um, then he comes down to G pentatonic minor right here, all the way down on the 15th fret. You got your G pentatonic minor. So he's, he's in, that, in that range right there. So he does two unison bends, or I'm sorry, uh, four. So I'm holding 15 on the high E string, 18 on the B string, and I'm just bending a full bend on the B string, hitting it four times. Then you move that back a whole step, so just two frets, so now it's 16 and 13, two. Then you go, <clears throat> now your B string and G string, uh, 11th fret, 13th fret. Two bends there, and then you come up to 15, I'm sorry, 17 and 15. So we got. Then it immediately comes down and plays the same melody down here. 
and that's uh, eight on the B string to sixth fret, then third fret G string, and then slide up to the seventh fret G string. So the whole thing. And that's the whole solo. Pretty cool. Um, definitely when you got all the overdrive on, it sounds, sounds pretty cool. Um, so that's it. That's all of the parts for Cold, Cold, Cold by Cage the Elephant.